Story title, Learning Days with Grandfather Mohammed. Introduction, In the heart of Grandfather Mohammed's home. Grandchildren gather around him each day to revel in his stories and learn the Arabic alphabet, tracing the adventures of letters from scene to cough in a journey filled with knowledge and fun. Letter scene. Grandfather Mohammed sat with his grandchildren in the living room and began drawing the letter scene on the small blackboard. This is the letter scene, as in Samak, which means fish, he said. He drew a beautiful fish next to the letter to help the children remember it. Letter Sheen. Moving on. Grandfather Mohammed said, This is the letter Sheen, used in Shams, which means sun. He drew a bright sun and added, The sun rises every morning to light up the world. Letter Sod. And here we have the letter Sod, he continued, carefully drawing the letter. It appears in Sarah, which means desert. He drew a wide desert scene explaining that this area is very hot and sparse in vegetation. Letter dot. Grandfather Mohammed then picked up the chalk again and wrote the letter dot, saying, This is the letter dot, found in Dufto, meaning frog. He drew a cute frog jumping in a pond. Letter tot. Now we come to the letter ta, said the grandfather as he drew the letter. It is used in Tyra, meaning airplane. He drew an airplane flying in the sky, pointing out that airplanes are a fast means of traveling between countries. Letter the. This is the letter the. Grandfather Mohammed continued his explanation while drawing the letter. It appears in Darf, meaning envelope. He drew an envelope carrying a letter, explaining how people used envelopes to send messages in the past. Letter Ain. And now the letter Ain, said the grandfather drawing the letter thoughtfully. It's found in an ab, meaning grapes. He drew bunches of ripe grapes, discussing how grapes are cultivated and their importance in making juice. Letter Guy. This is the letter Guy, and Grandfather Mohammed indicated the letter. We use it in Gabo, which means forest. He drew a dense forest with tall trees and various animals living in it. Letter F.A. Grandfather continued enthusiastically, the letter F.A., like in feel, which means elephant. He drew a large elephant, talking about its immense size and strength. Letter cough. Now on to the letter cough, said the grandfather as he wrote the letter. It comes in Kamar, meaning moon. He drew a bright moon in the night sky explaining its role in providing light at night. Letter cough. This is the letter cough, said the grandfather as he drew the letter. We find it in Kitab, meaning book. He drew an open book, discussing the importance of reading and knowledge. 